All right, welcome back to Gabs Abroad. For the first time, I'm not just talking about traveling and going places, but I am actually traveling and going places. So, what better place to start than in the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the three days that I spent in this awesome capital city. It's cheap, it's significantly comfier and more spacious than an airplane. Food could be improved, but I brought a banana for a reason. We're thriving. photograph monument in the city. It's basically a giant metal flower made from old plane parts, but it has an internal mechanism that when it's sunny, the petals actually open and it does not work with artificial light. At night it closes as well, so all natural. Pretty cool. So far I am loving the architecture of this city. Like, just look around, it's so impressive. Currently very glad for the walking part of this tour because sleep deprivation was hitting me pretty hard on the bus. jerseys which is not too surprising because these people are obsessed with their soccer and I love it. I love the passion, I love the enthusiasm. Um, the one that I'm seeing a lot now is for Boca because the stadium is super close. I wish I could go over there but they said it's dangerous so we're gonna pass on that. But tons of blue and yellow because that's their colors including the buildings outside. So pretty cool. I would get a jersey, but I've been told that the unspoken rule is that you can't change soccer teams, and I would love to have the one from my host family, but um, yeah, just an obsession with soccer here, and I love it. street it kind of makes up for the fact that it's a gray and rainy day I kind of gave up my bright colors when I got down here and this helps
quirky little town of Tigre. And basically there's a continental part, um, but there's also like tons of little islands that are all connected by the river and its little tributaries. So it's really interesting because they get everywhere by boat which, I'm not gonna lie, being a person obsessed with water, that would be pretty darn cool. All right, best part of the day by far. I found strawberries and blueberries in this local market. I am so happy. That is one thing I've missed since I've gotten to Argentina. I've had lots of bananas, lots of apples, and zero berries. So, it takes very little to please me. that he takes after he's officially inaugurated in Congress. So that's pretty cool. Um, it still trips me out that the president commutes to work. Like this is not where he lives, like the White House in the US. So I'm still trying to like register that fact, but I think he might be about to go on a tour of Casa Rosada. I'm kind of on Argentine time here. I don't really ever know what's going on, but you know, if we get to do that, that'll be cool, and hopefully I'll have some videos to show you. Say hi, Breland. Hi. We're in a market in downtown Buenos Aires, and I am done shopping, so I decided to pull out the camera. I found a map, and I am super excited. I have a weird obsession with maps, but it's a great time. We're at a crossroads in the market, and there is forever more market, and I don't know where to go. <laughs> also, I have to be a prime target for vendors right now because I am 100% a gringa, and I've already bought stuff, so. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. So we're in a cemetery and I have never seen anything like this. The gravestones, if you can even call it that, are basically like small houses. This is, I don't even know how to describe it. I've never seen anything like this. They call it the city of the dead, which is kind of creepy. It kind of feels like the setting for a horror movie, but at the same time, I am once again blown away by the architecture in this city. Tell me this is not the 
setting of a Stephen King novel. Fun fact, these tombs are for life. So if you can somehow come up with the money to bury a family member here, then it's yours for life. It can't be replaced or destroyed. But if you run out of family members, then it becomes abandoned and kind of crumbly and that's where you get some of the creepy alleyways. So, this whole place is fascinating to me. Is it weird that the cemetery is my favorite part of my weekend in Buenos Aires? Like, that seems odd to me. That seems really quirky, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bold and say the cemetery is my favorite part of this weekend. If you made it this far, fantastic! You got a glimpse of one of the biggest and most impressive cities in South America. Our group had a great time exploring everything that the city has to offer, and honestly it's one of those places that you could go back to 10, 15, 20 times and not see everything. It's just that big with that much to do and see, but very grateful that I got the three days that I had and got to do the things that I did. But I will say that a common mistake is thinking that if you've seen Buenos Aires, you've seen Argentina. It's like coming to the US and seeing New York City and saying, oh yeah, I've seen the US. Like this country is so big, so massive, and has so much to offer. Next up is one of the new seven natural wonders of the world. So you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned for Iguazu Falls, and I hope you enjoyed following me on this short little adventure to Buenos Aires. Until next time, ciao!